Hello, boys and girls. This is Nick Bone from The Ready Working Show, where we speak with a variety of guests on their experiences entering the workforce, the tips and tricks they use to be successful, as well as perspectives from the other side of the table as recruiters and employment specialists. Today's guest is Viola Wong. She is from China and came to Canada to study. She completed her undergraduate degree in finance at Western University and then went to York University in Toronto to complete her master's in financial accountability. She also volunteers at Frontier College and is currently working at CIBC as a financial services representative. In today's episode, we discuss the process of becoming an international student, why joining a club and being social is essential, as well as the job search process. Also remember, if you are enjoying the content, to please like, comment, and subscribe. Hello, Viola. Great to have you here. (laughs) Thank you so much for being on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm looking forward to learning about your work experience and how you got your job at CIBC, as well as a bit about your education and why you chose Canada. So I thought it'd be interesting if we start with where you're from and a little bit of either about your life in China or education. Okay. Um, Yeah. So um, I came here, I came to Canada like for university, as you know. So like before that, like um, I was just having my, (laughs) my, my normal Chinese student life and just like majority of the, of the Chinese kids. Right. Uh, yeah, because um, so like after uh, secondary school, so like one day, like one day, my mom, my, my mom had a conversation with me, and she was asking me like, oh, like if you want to like to study abroad, so if you want to do that, um, yeah, so you know, like there are many like international like program in China, right? Yeah, so she said, oh, like if you're interested in it, and um, and we'll go ahead and do the. Uh, like the international student uh, program okay so yeah. that was while you were still in China or was that like a part yeah, of it was in China yes yeah, so actually um I did a final Canadian program okay high school. yep yeah yeah so I think like it kind of helped me to get prepared like get familiar with the um, like the style like teaching style right. here yeah because yeah, it's a lot different than in China right <laughs> right right so that experience kind of set you up and gave you an idea that you wanted to move to Canada for school or you were just international in general. You wanted to go abroad for your school. Um, because like at the very first, um, I was kind of like debating between the States and, the Can- and Canada. But, you know, like at the time, like it's more expensive in the States. Yes, <laughs> you know, like, kind yeah. of financial needs also like one of the reasons I choose to come here. Yep, that, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so why did you choose Western then? Oh, Western. Um, yeah, because, um, because so, so every year, like the, um, the people, like the, um, the people from admission, uh, admission school, yeah. like from Canada, they actually came to our school in, in China, like all the way and they do presentation. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, like at the time, you know, like Ivy is it's famous, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, I like it's famous, but well, I didn't get into it. But like at the time, and that's the that's the reason I want to choose Western. Okay. Wow. So you didn't get into Ivy, but that's all right. <laughs> so yeah. What did you end up doing your undergraduate in? What? Your undergraduate. What was your major? Uh, I was in finance. Finance was that like uh, accounting or? Like finance. Finance. <laughs> yeah. What type of finance? Is there is there different kinds or is that just like what well, was like, the specialty? Yeah, like special specialty like finance. So for example, like um like corporate finance and just like business in general. Right. Yeah. Okay. So while you were taking these courses. Did you happen to get any co-ops, internships, or work experience while you were doing your degree? Uh, well, like I didn't do uh, co- uh, co-ops, but like I did, uh, 
like working part time, but like it's not related to my program, but it was still a fun experience. Yeah, because no? I think even just having any Canadian work experience is really important to have yeah. on your resume. Exactly, because like it really helps you like to, uh, you know, like helps you like how to interact with people and just in general. Yeah, because right. like like after you graduate, like looking for a job. Like I, I feel like a communication, like your people skill, is is a very important thing. Absolutely, yeah, and especially if you yeah. can show that on your resume with work experience, it's so important. Exactly. What right. about clubs or volunteer or anything like that? Were you a part of any clubs while at Western? Uh yeah. So I think like I didn't join join a club like, until like third or fourth year. Yeah, because because let me be honest, because for the first two years, uh, my English wasn't that good. Okay. And then you know, like like in general, like like students from China, like they're they're pretty shy. Right. <laughs> you know, like we're more comfortable with people we already know. So like when you when you meet new people, you know, like you're just shy, like com- <laughs> comparably. And then after, um, I joined a. Uh, I do have a club at Western called uh, a cappella. Okay. It's like a choirs group. Yeah, yeah, and also I, that is the year I actually started making making friends. You know, like my circle gets bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you? What types of things did you do in that group? Um, we sing. Yeah, <laughs> different yeah. types of songs, or yeah, like different type of songs. Did they have competitions and things like that, or? Oh, well, like, not really competition, like, within our group, but, like, we do uh, do different stuff, like, all year round, like, okay. on campus and out of campus. So, so let's say, um, yeah, so, so let's say um, Valentine's Day. Yeah. So we do a separate class, and if they want to, like, order a song, so they will right. we'll actually travel up, like, travel on campus. Oh, to the yeah. people? Yeah, to the people. <laughs> Yeah, so let's say if you want to surprise your girlfriend, yeah, and then tell us and uh, like where she'll be having her class and what time she finished, and we'll be waiting outside her class. <laughs> I think I remember <laughs> seeing a few yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, that's awesome! That's exciting. Yeah, and it helps you your... know, when see, like when you like see the like how like how surprised they are. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's... And like you said, it probably helped your English as well, right? Being around so many different people and singing. Yeah. So I'm curious if you had any challenges or if you can remember any challenges that you faced while at university. I suppose one would be, you know, being shy and having that small friend group, but you grew it in third and fourth year. Were there any other challenges that you faced and how did you overcome them? Um. I think like, mm, yeah, like as I mentioned before, like it's your English, right? Yeah, like you're speaking because um, um, I feel like I feel like um, when I started working and joining like uh like clubs, so I have to like sometimes I even have to uh, I even have to force myself to speak, right? And that really really helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it's not just about like your your speaking because um because like once it it got improved, it just automatically like boosts your confidence. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, yeah, I so felt the same a thing. Whole person. Yeah, absolutely. I know when I was living in China, and I would go to the supermarket or I'd go to different stores. And I would have to speak Chinese. I was always a little bit nervous because my Chinese is not too good. <laughs> I would always get the tones wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it was hard for people to understand. And I was worried that they would laugh at me or not understand. <laughs> no, like if you like if they understand you, like they would be surprised. I mean impressed. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like yeah. you know, you, you know Chinese. Yeah. So that's why I always think I wish when you know international students would speak english we would give them that same kind of uh, support right that they right. can speak english because i feel in western countries it's almost like uh, assumed that you should 
speak English, right? But it's different in China because if you can speak Chinese, they are so happy for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if you're not good, they will tell you you're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly.